So at this year's ASH, we were able to present a follow-up from the Assemble study, which is a randomized phase three trial of um, Asimunib, which is a new um, B3 inhibitor now FDA approved in the United States, which is a STAMP inhibitor, a, a, a targeted drug um, specifically targeting the mirror stoil pocket of the b able kinase in patients with um, CML or pH positive leukemia. Again, this was a two to one randomization of patients with chronic phase CML who had failed two lines of therapy um, between Asimunib or Basutinib, which um, had been previously studied in the third line setting for chronic phase CML. The primary endpoint was major molecular response at 24 weeks. And we had previously reported on about a doubling of um, this response in the Asimunib arm, and as well as decrease or, or um, a, a lower rate of adverse events in the Asimunib arm, and also lower rates of discontinuation. So at ASH this year, we had a 48-week update where patients had um, at least one year or 48 weeks of follow-up or had discontinued treatment earlier. So um, now we show a, a continued and sustained improvement in major molecular response with about a 16% difference. Um, and uh, this was, again, the primary endpoint of MMR. Um, but now looking at 48 weeks, when we look at patients who had transcript levels less than 1%, we saw, again, a fairly dramatic difference, 42% um, uh, versus 19 or so percent for basutinib. Um, the, uh, the results continue to be positive. Um, again, as we follow more patients over time, we see cumulative incidence of um, assimilative responses longer uh, um, as well as um, now deeper molecular responses with increasing patients achieving an MR4 or an MR4.5 as we look later uh, on treatment. So I think a seminar really now, uh, especially as it's been FDA approved in the United States, really now offers um, another option for CML. M many might consider that we have many options already, but we clearly still have unmet needs with patients with both resistance and intolerance to prior therapy. Um, I think a seminar offers a very safe option for patients in the third line setting. Um, the approval in the US came through for patients with two or more TKI failures or patients with a T315I mutation. Now this study was the ASSEMBLE study which only looked at patients without um, those select mutations. Essentially your more common um, grouping of patients with uh, two or more TKIs previously but uh, unsatisfactory response. The approval was based on data from the phase one study. Um, but I see this medication for sure now being used as a perhaps better alternative in later lines of therapy, the third line currently in the US and for patients who at any point have a T315I mutation. Um, the side effect profile I think is favorable, it may compare favorably to other medications in the same space, uh, particularly uh, panantinib. Um, the adverse events for assimilib were, um, uh, as we had seen in the earlier trial, mainly myelosuppression, um, and we were able to show at the uh, ASH presentation that um, the onset of mild suppression is fairly early and doesn't seem to accrue with increasing time on treatment. Um, there were a few uh, arterial occlusive events, which were observed um, a few more in the assimilative than the misunib arm. And this is of course being scrutinized carefully. Many of these were not attributed to drug or um, were um, identified on cardiovascular screening tests. But again, this is an important question that needs to be studied further. Not surprisingly, Asimunib continues to be studied. Um, many are aware that this is, a, a, again, a novel b inhibitor, which allows us to potentially combine it with the previously approved ATP binding site uh, inhibitors, um, the five currently approved drugs. We have data on combinations of Asimunib with the, the um, earliest of the three drugs, Amantinib, Dilantinib, and Desantinib. So look for more data for a potential combination therapy for CML as well as earlier line use of Asimunib. There, there are studies planned and, and accruing uh, for patients in the front line and, and second line. There'll be a trial for patients to combine Asimunib with Amantinib to try to gain treatment free remission if it wasn't successful the first time. So I think there's uh, a bright future for Asimunib and, and, and this is a great advance for patients with CML.